Hello you guys and I am so excited for today's video. There's just something about starting a brand new journal that just, I don't know, it just does something. It's like exciting, it's fresh pages, it's um, just starting brand new, you know, so I just love it. So, um, so I am still working in my December. We have a couple more days. I have a ton of writing to do in it. Um, I'm hoping that I can sit down and get that done. I will be doing a flip through of my December daily and my uh, November December journal, um, but I wanted to be prepped and ready to go for January. So I'm hoping everybody that has ordered and received uh, that is part of the BBG Girl subscriptions received theirs. I did ship everything prior to Christmas, but I was fingers crossed hoping that everything made it with the massive amount of mail that was going out during the holidays. So, so let me know if you guys haven't received yours. I noticed yesterday I looked at my, um, just to kind of get an overview of where everything's at and there was still some that hasn't been delivered and I'm like, eee! So sticker club, everything. So I'm hoping that you should be getting them today or tomorrow, I would think, because of the um, holidays and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, anyway, but I wanted to go ahead and get my journal set up for for the new year, for the new, um, for, comp you know, go ahead and get my composition book set up so that I can begin the year. So, uh, my cover I'm choosing to, uh, to do is T for Two. Um, one of the reasons I love this cover is because it's got blue in it, and I don't know why I associate blue with January, but I also uh, love it because I know that this will go into uh, into Valentine's Day. I did not count my pages. I did do, I didn't make this into a junk journal as far as like adding additional pages, but of course it always ends up looking like a junk journal. But um, I did um, go ahead and glue all my pages together. I ripped out the seven pages and um, I will link the video below that kind of preps me, that shows how I prep my journal. So um, in case you have any questions and you're new here and um, if you're wondering about starting a new journal, I think it's just one of the best, or starting journaling, and I have some great news too, by the way, I want to share with you guys, but I think it's such a wonderful way to not only be creative, but get your thoughts out. Even if you don't write anything, you can speak in stickers, papers, um, journaling cards, words. There's so many different ways that you can journal um, that is so, to me, it's such so relaxing and so, um, it just makes, to me, it's just satisfying. So, so anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. So my good news is that I wanted to share is that, um, okay, so many of you know that um, with my December journal, I wanted, this is my, consider that I consider this my creative daily journal. So um, I basically uh, create in it daily as far as um, I pick, I do every single day, whether it be with, with uh, papers, photos, most of the time I have papers, photos, writing, um, different things in there, but I do it daily. So it's just kind of like the daily things that I do, you know, and then I have my other journal, which I'll be sharing that in another video, my lineup for the year, um, that I show, um, all my, uh, that I write more, you know, it's more of a, like a personal journal. This is just the day to day, um, what, uh, what the happenings are. Um, and then the other one is more like, um, a personal uh, that I probably wouldn't share, you know, here, or if I do, I just do like a glance, but it's got more, um, you know, personal thoughts and those kind of things, and this did not cover all of that, which is fine. Um, I was debating on the size, because the first size I did was too big, and then this I did at 80%, so um, it's almost too... We'll work on it. We'll figure it out. But, so my, so where was it? Oh, so in December, I had created a um, journal, my creative daily journal, but then I also wanted one that I could do with my, you know, that my daughter, uh, she is, 
a junior in high school and I wanted to have a book that she could because that's one of the fun things is looking back over the December dailies and seeing the stories and what went on and those kind of things but in the process this year was her first year like driving and so a lot of times I didn't know what was going on you know I mean I knew what was going on but I wasn't there to take photos or document I could just say oh she had like a band tonight or you know things like that or you know I or if she had concerts I was there but what has triggered is for her to keep a journal she's like you know I think because I was like send me photos of stuff that you did you know that I know like just the day-to-day -day, you know that I can put in my my um my the journal you know the December daily because I felt like I was kind of doubling my stories because I was telling my creative daily journal stories which was mostly like what the day-to-day -day stuff and then I was telling the same kind of story in my December daily you know so it was kind of like the December daily was more geared towards um, towards her and like what she had going on and it just it, it just kind of was like I just I felt like I was doubling my stories you know because more or less I wanted the December daily to be about her stories anyway but what it triggered which I think is so wonderful is that she started keeping a journal. I have been talking to her. I said, something you would not regret is for you to keep a journal of your day-to-day -day life because I really can, I can remember some of my stuff from like high school, you know, the important, like, you know, the, what's the word that I'm looking for? Like, like, you know, graduation, um, I don't know, certain events that you did with your friends and that, this and that and the other, but, um, just the day-to-day -day stuff I have I'm like I don't know I went to school when did I study I don't remember ever I remember did I do my homework I know that my senior year I, I had major senioritis <laughs> did not want to be there I had a bunch of friends that I had started working so I had friends outside of school and I mean that's the kind of stuff that I'm like you know it would be so interesting for you to just be documenting what you what you do from day to day so anyway she uh, she so she started her journaling and um, I'm so excited for her so um, so that triggered that which which means next year I'm just gonna be keeping my creative daily journal and um, documenting our daily lives and of course she's going to be included along with you know but it's just not gonna be where I'm having to double up, I guess. So, if that makes sense. Anyway, I'm just excited that she wants to journal. <laughs> but, um, anyway, so I think what I'm going to do for this cover is I'm going to probably come in here and add, I, I'll work on it, but for now I'm just going to kind of keep this. I'll probably add some, I don't know, maybe brings out this. Um, I need to do my book binding tape. I found brown, which, mm, you know, I'm on the fence about. I've, I've had the brown for a while, but I've used red up for the last two years. And what, what I mean by book binding tape is I add it to the, to the uh, spine of the journals, and then I write the date on. So, um, I don't know. I'm kind of wanting to change up the color a little bit. So, we'll see on that one. Okay, so I'm going to make my pocket, but then I also printed these out. This is from Calico um, Calico Collage. I love, love, love her stuff. I've been buying. She's in Etsy shop. I'm going to leave it down below. She also has books on YouTube. I'm not on YouTube. On, um, on Amazon that you can buy. Um, and I've bought her. I've been buying her stuff for a while. Um, and I know that I'm kind of going more for like a blue tone, like I said, for some reason with um, with January, I'm, I see blue. <laughs> so, of course, I want to do pink with bees, but I think that's just a little, um, maybe a little too early for that. So, I think I'm going to do, let me see, what does my girl look like? She's definitely not the blues I'm using, but I, um, I've been inspired by, um, 
lately I've been inspired by watching a lot of oops a lot of videos on on YouTube doing like the cottage core oh my gosh I'm just loving 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 that and um, and so it's kind of my thing now it, it's such a calming feeling for me um, and because that is part of my goal this this year is to just enjoy I mean like my word is recreate and I'm basically wanting just to recreate my sense of of life I mean not that sounds kind of more deep but it, in a way it is because I've been so um, caught up in this rush that like I'm just um, I remember this movie that Sarah Jessica Parker I can't even remember what the movie was but she has started a career and she said you know how they say you're juggling different things you're juggling your house you're juggling your relationships and she said I wasn't juggling I was throwing so I just imagine sometimes like almost kind of like hot potato you know you you have something that you're you're doing and you're like just throwing it out as fast as you can um, because you got to move on to the next thing you don't have time to linger and I'm really wanting to kind of take a step in the direction of lingering in the moment <laughs> that actually kind of sounds nice lingering in the moment um, and stopping and taking a breath and just you know enjoying the moment creating a calm it's always seems so hectic a lot of times Okay, so as you know, I bought this instead of my typical Susan branch. I miss Susan. I may still go buy one on Amazon. I was, um, I love Susan branch and I want to support her. So I may end up taking a different route on that and getting. <laughs> And getting her journal and getting her calendar and putting it back. I was just, I've, I've debated with myself because I'm like, you've already bought this. You know, use what you have. That's why you bought it. I bought this at, I always put a calendar in the front of my journals. And I bought this at Dollar Tree. And it works just perfectly fine. But, um, I should have put this as a blue background and then created this as my, um, you know as my pocket <clears throat> but you know what I can do is create a pocket and then like decorate this up that's what I'll do and butterflies are my thing this year um, I'm I think I'm very gearing myself towards I've been buying and looking and Where's the glue at? Right here. Um, I've been buying and um, using lots of butterfly, like this this printables from Calico Collage. She um, is called, I think it's called Wings or something, but a lot of it is the butterflies. I did this a little less, a little more simpler, <laughs> but it's okay. And this, um, this particular journal is a composition book. I'm not sure where I got it. Um, I've been very particular about what I'm going to be using because I had bought a ton of composition books from um, from um, Dollar Tree but I noticed they're very um, and actually 
Never Hope was Elizabeth pointing this out as well. But I noticed they're very, uh, like, almost like newspaper print. So if you guys have been try picking those up, I don't know if I would go that route. Because um, I know some of them have been, I don't know. I don't know if that's the ones that are coming apart of the spine. But this one was just a weird, I thought it was a good brand. But then when I was gluing it last night, it felt kind of weird. So I'm hoping that it's, it's going to be okay. I love this washi. It's so pretty. I'm going to let that pocket dry before I start trying to put anything in there. So, on this side, like I said, my girl is not really these colors, now that I think about it. But let's see if we can use... use something as a background that would look okay. Hmm. Now that I'm pulling these out, nothing really looks um, very... Her coloring is totally different than this. So... I'm just going to add her directly on here. Cannot believe we're starting out. In a way, though, I love... Um, starting a new year, it just seems like, yeah, I'm one of those <laughs> individuals that are like, new year, new opportunities, you know, it's like it's a fresh start. Um, so, but I noticed, I know last year I put a 2023 on these, and I did not do that this year, so we're going to have to write that in. If we can find a marker, my markers are. Oh, here we go. My desk is working out great, you guys. I have sat there many times throughout this couple weeks that I've set up my new desk, and it actually is. Um, it's actually great. It's working out perfectly. really like in this brown background. Kind of looks like the craft color in it. Um, I don't know. Okay. And I can always come in here and doodle up the pages. I'm going to finish adding these stars on here. Being that it's January, oh, I am doing um, Allie Edwards' One Little Word. In case you hadn't seen the vision board video I uploaded. Um, so, I think instead of doing it, I thought about actually putting it in my Creative Daily Journal, like the monthly prompts, but I kind of like having it in its separate journal. But I'm going to be doing a, um, a video about... Um, I'm going to be doing a video soon with my lineups, and I'm going to be using a traveler's notebook. I had purchased one. I have a lot of standards, actually, but I had purchased a leather, um, brown leather. I don't know if it's imitation leather. It probably is. Um, from 
little craft place during the month of November, December, something like that. They had found one in their stock and I was so excited because I got it and um, in their back room. Anyway, I'm going to be using that for my one little word documentation and I think I'm going to be um, this year. I used to do it a long time ago. Again, I've kind of gotten away from it because I don't make the time because I feel so stressed. Like I said, I'm throwing things <laughs> instead of like juggling. I don't even want to juggle. I just want to take it, hold it, nurture it, um, but really take time to create a, a brain dump at the beginning of every month. And that way it just sets the tone for the month um, of what I want to get accomplished. But I am going to take, I am going to pick like three or four main goals and work on those instead of like overboard like I normally do. And I'm just kind of playing around here. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to do an intro page or if this will be my my first page because I don't really have two ways to write on it. I'm just, like I said, I'm just kind of playing around here. But let's see if this is dry. And what I'll do is I'll come in and add some, I'll decorate this up. Oh, i got to put my calendar. That's what I need to do. Main thing, main thing. You know this, this. This is this. Listen to me talking to myself. Me, you can. You're getting a full, full thing of me being wishy-washy. I'm like, but you know, these calendar works out just fine. It does what it needs to do, which is give me the dates, and I can have an overview of what day it is, and. Yeah, I'll probably come in here and do some more um, dots and things. Get out my those are gonna have to sit and dry a little bit. These are bingo daubers. They work really good for adding colors to the background. And I cannot go without adding pink. start I'm ready to go <laughs> all right you guys I am going to make this video complete I'm all set up the only thing I'm gonna do is at this point is cut my cut up my numbers so I can add them to my pocket so I don't lose them and we are ready to go for January Alright you guys, thanks for stopping in and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.